Hey everybody, Simsara here. Welcome back to the channel. In a recent Q&A segment, Ryan Melser, CEO of American Battery Technology Company, was asked about his experience with Tesla. Here's what he had to say. Some of you have hired former Tesla employees. Ryan, you are uh, a former and Tesla employee. Um, maybe I'll, 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 I'll ask it slightly differently to each of you. So maybe I should start with, with you, Ryan. Um, how does your experience there shape the way that, 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 that you have set up your company and the way you're pursuing the market? Right. I mean, I worked there about four years and many things I, I try to carry over to here to American Battery Technology Company and many things I intentionally avoid and don't bring over. So there's, there's the good and the bad. I mean, especially back in the early days, you know, when I started the, the battery gigafactory was still just a patch of dirt. You know, we hadn't even broke ground yet. So it was much more of a, a startup itself. You know, there are about 15 of us in the Nevada division, you know, told to go build the biggest factory in the world to make the best batteries in the world and to do so without consuming any energy. So it was this really ambitious target and large amounts of resources behind us. And I think my favorite part was the enemy was the status quo. You know, never do anything just because it's always been done that way beforehand. You know, every decision needs to really be based on first principles physics limits. You know, just because it's always been done is a horrible reason to do things again. So I think challenging norms, working from fundamentals, that is something I really appreciated while there and something we do here as well. I think the things I avoid are really, you know, really trying to move at paces you know will cause problems down the road, seeing problems you know are going to happen and making decisions anyway, just because you have to hit near-term goals. I think it really is important to combine long-term strategy with short-term strategy. And People tend to have a recency bias. You know, people always say, what was it like working at, you know, such a, a highly valued company? Understand that really is just the past six or 12 months. You know, for the th four years I was there, there were, you know, it's been publicly stated there were three different times Tesla actually drew up, you know, bankruptcy papers. Like we were on the edge for years. It was not a highly valued company. It was not even really respected company or taken seriously in the automotive industry. That is really just the past few years. So when you say are the big three taking this seriously, you know, last year Tesla made almost 500,000 vehicles. You know, there are about 80 million vehicles sold in the world. You know, the, the big three made almost 10 million a piece. So what Tesla puts out is still really just one factory for what the big three automakers make. So they still have that economy of scale advantage and a lot of their decisions to partner in JV with some of the leading battery companies has really been a positive move for them. I would just say that it's still a really big difference between making 10 million vehicles a year and making 500,000. And the Tesla powertrain is probably still the best in the world, but a lot of our issues early on were on much more of the vehicle manufacturing itself, You know, getting doors to fit right, getting windows to seal, working with service centers. Those are things that the big three have had decades of experience with that Tesla is still working to catch up much more on the non-powertrain portions of the vehicle. So there's a few things I appreciate about Ryan's experience at Tesla. For one, he started when the company was early, pre-hype. So he's got that experience bringing up the company from a patch of dirt, like you said, and it's something amazing. Also, the heavy focus on first principles is really important in succeeding in disruptive technology today. I think this gives American battery technology a significant advantage over other competitors. Additionally, Ryan has the hindsight and the humility to point out that it wasn't all roses working at Tesla. So he's got a lot of experience of the bad side and he can seek to avoid making the same mistakes that Tesla may have made in its early days. I'm really looking forward to how the company moves under his leadership. Well, that's all we've got for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed the content. As always, please like and subscribe. This will help bring visibility to the channel and the content produced here. There's also a link to the community discord in the comments below. So until next time, take care.